Go Interactive with me, Kelly. This is Rosalie. She's a hitch bot and she's visiting us from Alberta. And I'm going to take her on an adventure around Nanaimo. What is a hitch bot? Um, it's a school project that started in Victoria, uh, in Calgary, and they pretty much travel throughout Canada. Some people pick them up and they take them on adventures and then they drop them off somewhere in the hope that someone else picks them up and takes them around. It's all about Canadian history and culture. I think that's what their the school project is all about. Have I got a treat for you. They're hoping to see what goes on in Canada and have Rosalie hit some of those key locations and they're hoping people will just kind of pick her up and take her on an adventure. Westwood Lake. This is one of Nanaimo's most popular freshwater lakes. There's swimming and lifeguards. There's plenty of room for kayaking and people paddleboarding. You can see the views are just beautiful. It's tucked underneath Mount Benson and there's a wonderful walking trail, six kilometers around the whole lake. You can see why it's one of the most popular places in Nanaimo. There's a bucket list here too that sort of the school's uh, school came up with, but they also encouraged them to bring them, bring her along anywhere else along the road. Have you ever jumped off a bridge? Welcome to Wild Play Element Parks. This is their famous bridge, 150 feet up over the Nanaimo River. People actually jump off of this bridge. Oh, you're excited. Let's go sign you up. Well, first we have to see if she meets the minimum weight requirements. Everyone has to be 95 pounds to be able to bungee jump. Do you want to just get her on the scale for me? So she is only two and a half pounds. But with that, we do have a couple things she could go away with. So we have a nice bandana that we have usually for birthdays. And then we have a couple things. Rosalie! Rosalie! Where did she go? If you're too small to bungee jump, then you're too small to drive. Come here, you. And I know she has a Twitter handle and yeah. an Instagram, so then the students can follow her progress. Yeah, exactly. And there are a couple traveling throughout um, Canada at the moment, so she's not the only one. Um, I think there's a Charlie traveling at the moment as well, somewhere around. Have you ever seen a real crab before? Considering you come from Calgary, there's no oceans out there. Swyalana Lagoon Park. This is clearly one of the busiest places in the summertime in Nanaimo. It features a beautiful lagoon for people to swim and kayak. There's a nice little walkway and a beautiful children's park. The kids love it here. Oh, you want to try the slide? Okay, don't go until I get to the bottom so I can catch you. Okay, I'm ready. And you wanted to go bungee jumping. Another nice feature in this park is all the public art. Artists, they put their art on display here in the park for all the community to enjoy it. Say cheese! And let's not forget the crab dock. Anybody that has a saltwater fishing license can come down here and catch crabs. All they have to do is put a little bait in their net and throw it down into the water. And about 10 or 15 minutes later, there you go. There's crabs in it. Oh, they're sharp, Rosalie. Be careful. This is Nanaimo's harbor front and one of the most busiest places around town. Right over there, that's where we're going next. I got a real sweet treat planned for you. One Nanaimo bar, please. Yeah, sure. Thank you. No problem. Mmm, isn't that delicious? It looks like someone has a crush on you, Rosalie. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you had fun in Nanaimo. I sure had fun hanging out with you and I hope you have a great trip wherever you may end up. Say bye to the camera. You can find out how Rosalie is doing on her adventure online. Photos are added to Instagram and Twitter as she continues her journey.